the curriculum of actio job is very apt that uh, even the questions which were discussed in the classes and in the assignment were very apt that uh, i used to get the same questions in my company interviews as well i can mm. I have like netapp and meq software so i gave interview in these companies and uh, because of uh, the exact training which i got from accio job i could mm. able to crack the coding rounds in in those companies <laughs> Hi guys welcome back to our YouTube channel we are back with our new testimonial and today we have Kaushik with us Kaushik recently got placed in Trans Union as an associate software engineer and uh, today we have him so that we can talk to him about how his entire coding journey has been and how he was able to land this company uh, so do make sure that you watch this video till the end but before moving forward take a moment to subscribe our channel and press the bell icon so that you're always notified on all our upcoming videos now without wasting any more time let's jump into the session Uh, hi Kaushik, thank you so much for taking out time to do this with us. Uh, can hi. you quickly introduce yourself? So, as myself, Kaushik Reddy, I'm from Andhra Pradesh, and I had graduated from NIT Allahabad. So, I did my B.Tech in Computer Science Engineering, and uh, yeah. So after that, I had worked as software developer in Bajaj, and after mm-hmm. that, uh, the company was not running well, and we had. the company had to lay off many of the employees so i was mm-hmm. also part of that and uh, after that i had been uh, trying off campus so mm-hmm. as we all know that <coughs> the off campus uh, trials are not that successful because uh, many of the companies they don't even look at the resume as well. so i didn't mm-hmm. get any uh, like you know i didn't get any call back from the companies so mm-hmm. so i to act your job because of this main reason that i'll get the placement support so mm-hmm. yeah and interestingly i would say that along with the placement support i could say that i got a lot of support from technical aspect as well so okay. yeah this is the great thing i feel about it. okay that's great kashik uh, was it always like your decision because you were passionate about coding and you understood or maybe you liked how you know machines work or was it something very market driven that you know uh, because there are a lot of job opportunities in this field that is why you went for it uh honestly speaking i like uh, i'm more like a uh, subject uh, subject guy like i used to read books mm-hmm. and gain the knowledge i am very much mm-hmm. like a conceptual understanding person mm-hmm. so <clears throat> so obviously i took to uh, computer science engineering because my maths was very good in my yeah. 11th and 12th so okay. yeah i took the cs branch and in that mainly i liked the coding part especially solving the lead code questions and hmm. uh, so like that the journey went and i had landed in a software developer job so it was mainly about my passion to coding hmm. yeah Okay, so you basically started coding in your college days itself, and you knew a lot yeah. about it. Uh, but yeah, for yeah. the place assistance thing, you wanted to, uh, yeah. you know, join a bootcamp where you can actually get that place in assistance yes. and you can also learn. Okay, yeah. Okay. So, uh, Kaushik, now let's talk a little bit about your journey in Akio Job. Like, uh, you know, how it all started. When did you exactly join, and uh, how has it been? Like, uh, you know, when it comes to making projects and the kind of questions you have done. what has exactly like helped you crack this job actually <clears throat> before uh, this trans union interview i had given uh, nearly i think four to five companies uh, i i had given interview to four to five companies so i would mm-hmm. say that the curriculum of actio job is very apt that uh, even the questions which were discussed in the classes and in the mm-hmm. assignment were very apt that uh, i used to get the same questions in my company interviews as well i can mm-hmm. i have developed like netapp and uh, meq software so i gave interview in these companies and uh, because of uh, the exact training which i got from accio job i could mm-hmm. able to crack the coding rounds in in those companies but yeah unexpectedly they they wanted uh, someone who is having experience as well maybe one or two years 
experience so i could i couldn't get selected in those companies so mm-hmm. but yeah but coming to the technical rounds mainly the dsa cracking rounds i would say mm-hmm. that actually top is uh, very very uh, keen and the content is very good i would say uh, mm-hmm. especially the questions they select for every module the assignment questions are uh, honestly speaking the same assignment questions i had done two weeks before and after mm-hmm. two weeks i was asked the same question in the interviews so okay. so that is a great thing yeah mm-hmm. okay so uh, kaushik there are a lot of people you know who have graduated from you know good colleges maybe and they have been doing coding for a long time and they were working somewhere but then due to some you know recession or something they got laid off or maybe the company you know fired them due to some other reasons uh, and then they are trying to get back on track right but then whatever experience they have that is just not enough for any company right they are looking uh, for great projects they are looking for some real skills so what would you like to say to those people you know who are looking uh, to just upskill themselves and want to get back on track and who are looking to uh, have great opportunities in this field so yeah as you rightly mentioned uh, being a graduate <coughs> uh, students don't have the hands on experience on you know hmm. real life projects so hmm. so in this aspect as well i would say that acu job is very good because acu job is like uh, it's like the you know connecting bridge between hmm. the college curriculum and the exact skills which you need in the company so hmm. so acu job would help you in this regard as well it gives us uh, uh, you know the hands on experience on the real life projects as well so hmm. that is a good thing i would say okay. in, in so uh, kaushik have you joined already no i am yet to join i have to join on january 3rd this yes. okay so till then are you like having fun or you are continuing with your studies right now i am continuing with my studies because yeah knowledge is very important right so okay. so i will continue yeah great great so also the new year is round the corner any new year resolution plans that you have for yourself uh <laughs> till now not yet i didn't do any resolution okay that is great a uh, great kaushik uh, thank you so much for sharing your journey with us i'm sure people listening to you will surely find it insightful and you know try to follow your track only and yeah thank you so much and yeah we wish you all the best for your uh, you know journey ahead and we hope that you achieve your new year resolution as soon as possible thank you that was kaushik guys one of our alumni and he had an amazing journey with us he will soon be working in transunion uh, so if you guys are also interested in having a tech career then just go to our website and take the aptitude test the aptitude test will help you in identifying which uh, course is best for you you know be it one stack or java full stack or data analytics course all the courses have amazing instructors from top it companies so do make sure that you give that test and if you guys have any queries you can just uh, let us know in the comment section below and if you guys are new to the channel then don't forget to subscribe the channel and press the bell icon so that you're always notified on all our upcoming videos and do let us know what kind of questions do you want us to cover in our next test tutorials and yeah thank you so much for uh, watching this video and we will see you in the next one